She was a little talker. Are you a talker? What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> the squad's trying to tell me it's breakfast time. <laughs> well, like Rosie's having a bit of a silly over there at the moment. Hey, I don't need your woofing. I've got a headache. Bailey, stop it. Hey, colder bear, is it breakfast time, is it? I'm a bit late today, aren't I? Because I've got a headache and I didn't want to get up. Wow, we're really late. I don't know why it's quite so late. All right, squad, I'm going to come and do it now, although Rosie's busy. Okay. Yes, I'm coming. Let's go do your breakfasts. Come on, let's go do brekkie. Make you happy, Fuzzy. You don't make you happy. <laughs> One of the highlights of the day for Mr. Fuzzy, isn't it? He was doing his laps. Are you going around what? again? No? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> the funny talk. Wonder how many you'll do today. How are you doing? You finished doing your laps? <laughs> nope. I think he's finished doing his laps. Why well, they eat their breakfast? Well, the coda hasn't started on his. <laughs> I feel my breakfast today, darling. Yeah, I'd rather do that. I'm going to refill our meds for the week because I haven't done that yet. And they need to do it. I've just left out the big dog food container because I need to refill it because there isn't much left. And I might. Give a little bit of a clean whites out. Just have a shower. Thanks. <laughs> I just want to give a little thank you to Kevin because he has been making the bed uh, every morning pretty much. I think he missed the weekend, but like during the week, he's been making the bed every day. I didn't just change those pillow slips still, they're now falling down the back of the bed. <laughs> One day we'll get to it. But yeah, I really, it's a little thing. It doesn't take long, but I, it's so nice coming up here and the bed being already done. I know it's not quite how I'll do it, but you know, I appreciate it. The little things make a big difference when you've got chronic illness. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday here, and thankfully, it's a lot cooler than yesterday, even though I'm still a bit warm. <laughs> Nothing like yesterday. Yesterday was a terrible day for no air conditioning. Without air conditioning, I'm doing fine. So I pretty much just plumped myself <laughs> right here yesterday in front of the fan. I even moved the fan closer to me. Full blast all day and I survived, but like I couldn't do any work. I did vacuum downstairs early in the morning. Well, not early, but like maybe nine o'clock or something. Didn't get to the top temperature till about midday. And I had a swim mid afternoon with the puppies when the pool was all nice and shaded over. So that was a nice way to cool down. And then just back in front of the fan. I think I actually, I don't even know how I felt because it was just too hot to do anything anyway. So I didn't really have to evaluate how I felt. I just thought I'm just gonna take the day off work. <laughs> It's too hot. Um, today's a lot cooler, but I've got a headache today again. I've had a lot of headaches lately. Don't know what's going on with that, but you know. And a bit of fibro pain. I was up early enough, I should be feeling better by now. And I've still got you know, crazy hair. Some days it looks better than others. I did mean to say, I mean, just did mean to say good morning sitting in the other room where the window's a bit light, so now you get <laughs> the full effect in here of the craziness. Anyway, I wanted to vlog today to, well, because I haven't done like a home vlog since like last Wednesday, I think. So I thought I'd vlog today and I'm hoping to get some food prep done, but I'm just going to have to see how I go. But that's sort of the plan. Other goal for today, I did clean the toilet while I was upstairs. And as I said, I showed you Kevin and made the bed, did a bit of tidying up. And my arm's getting sore just from holding the phone for just a few minutes now. So, hmm, that's that weird. Anyway, I'll, um... Having some breakfast, I've got a lentil sandwich again, a lentil patty sandwich, a cup of tea, and I'll um, check back in with you later on. Unfortunately, I am still not feeling good. Headache, fibro pain, probably the ramifications from yesterday's heat. I am going to get the dog food cooked at the moment. I'll get started cooking, and I'm going to make pumpkin pasta base. I'm going to start with this up. Gosh, sorry, the headache. It's very sore. Start air frying the pumpkin in the air fryer. <laughs> Cooking in the pumpkin in the air fryer, whatever, however you want to call it. Yeah, it's a very easy recipe, thankfully. It's just like 
cook the pumpkin, roast the pumpkin, cook the pasta, wilt the spinach, throw it together in a pot with some pasta sauce, a few other things. Yeah, and then bake it later on. So it's super easy. And it's a good one to freeze. The freeze is really nice. It's like the lasagna, it's better um, later on, but we will have it tonight anyway. I'll probably bake it actually straight up when it's ready. I'll probably bake it and I'll reheat it for tonight and then that should hopefully be a little bit nicer. Anyway, I'm gonna do that while I'm up. I haven't got any vegetables cut up for the dogs. We are out of that. So I am into the big freezer. This chest freezer has been such a good thing to have. I still can't believe we now fill up three freezers, but anyway, I am after these ones. Do a lot of bread in there. <laughs> Oh, my pumpkin pasta bake is done. I had the idea of actually just cooking them straight into these dishes and then cooling them and freezing them. Because they're glass, I can put them in the oven. Usually I just make one big one and then I have to serve it all up. So I'm saving some time and some washing up. <laughs> and yeah, that should work out quite fine. I guess we'll see. I think that will be a, an improvement to my meal prep. Just finishing off my decluttering video for Week three, I think, because we did stuff on the weekend. I wanted to count, count that, but I hadn't counted it yet. So just done that. So I haven't done today's declutter. And I didn't do one yesterday. But I'm down to nine items, which is going to be so easy. I want to do my wardrobe. I think that'll be easy to probably even finish off. I've kind of, yeah. So for the weekend, for Friday, I did um, 13, 12, 11 and 10 items <laughs> so how many that was <laughs> just from that one cupboard of cabins <laughs> and there was actually way more than that i was being understated <laughs> well it's my lunch date with christy today since christy's it's just just, just yeah just a one-off today isn't it usually we do it wednesday yeah yeah it's um nice and cool outside so we're sitting outside for lunch christy um, started uni again yesterday didn't you so getting back in the swing of things well, long, was, long days. Oh, he's still on the nighty. <laughs> yes, you went out last night socialised, didn't you? Yes. For the first time in a long time. <laughs> or was it psychology? It was like the psychology society, yeah. Yeah. That was good. Go to Beacons. I can't get your ball ball down there. You're going to have to put it up here. Put it up here. Are you waiting for some lunch? I think he is. Hopeful. <laughs> just brush, I just brushed Fuzzy outside and this is all the fluff that I got off him. Oh, there's my hand. <laughs> That's a lot of fluff. <laughs> we can make another puppy. He's um, shedding his um, winter coat. It's beautiful though, his fluff, but there's so much. you still got so much on you. I could keep brushing out and find even more and more. Oh, it's my first time using my new little label stickers. I think I just wiped that bake off, but anyway. <laughs> I don't know what it says. So we can see how they go. Okay, I have just um, been out picked up after the dog, and I was also replying to comments before that. I, thought, I already just rehearsed what I was going to say, like in my head. I thought about what I was going to say to you guys. So anyway, I just um, finished replying to some comments. Still got more to go. I'll try and work on some more when I come back. Uh, from the dermatologist, that's where I'm about to head to to get the results from the two biopsies last week. The one where he did the scraping is still a bit oozy and look, I guess he'll check it and that one's got to have the stitch taken out of it, but it looks a lot better. So I've been doing what he said to do to look after it. We'll see what he says, I guess. Um, oh, it's just fingers crossed that it's okay and <laughs> I don't want to have, to have either of them taken out because they're both being on the side of my body it's going to be really uncomfortable to sleep or hmm very sore <laughs> you have to have them taken out so hopefully they're okay but i don't think so somehow i think particularly one on the ankle i think it's the most likely one to have to be removed but we will see um yeah so this one i'm off to now and i'll um yeah i guess i'll tell you what's what when i get back which will just be like in a second i am back home again um 
well, as expected, I do have to have one removed, but it's not the one I expected to have to have removed. The one on my hip. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of my hip, not my bum, but my hip. Just kind of where your pant line is, under pant line kind of thing. Yeah, it's pretty much right there. So I probably did get a bit of sun when I was younger. Um, and because I said it's one of the most of damage is done. But anyway, it's a melanoma, which I haven't had before. The other one's a basal cell carcinoma. This one's actually a melanoma. So that's my first one of them I think I've actually had. Well, it's been labeled melanoma. Um, but he said it's very early stages. It's very thin. So got it at a very good time. But when I went to make the appointment to get it removed, they said next week. I said, oh, can I make it a few weeks later? Being that it was early stages and that, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Mainly because it's going to take me out of action for a bit, I would imagine. And we've got like weekends away and swimming, beach trips. So I've booked it in for two weeks time. Which I think is like a week and a half before Easter when we're going down to the snow. We're not going to be swimming or anything like that. So, yes? You want to come watch him you can Yeah, just a minute. So, yeah. Got to look forward to. And the one on my ankle was fine. So, I must have just rubbed and bled from rubbing. It was fine, I took the stitch out, so yeah. Not unexpected news, I guess. Um, but it's gonna be a, a bit of a pain to live now because it's still, it's still sore than the ankle one. So yeah, that's why I didn't want to make it when we're gonna be away because it would obviously have a bit of an impact. Easter should be too bad as long as I'm comfortable sitting. It's a week and a half later, but I'm a week from this and still uncomfortable. All right, we've come to see this one, do these tricks. Stand with this. <laughs> Keep hopping. He's a bunny rabbit. Oh, I've come to watch you. We're watching, Ju. Ju, Ju. We've come yeah. to watch. See? See how good you are. Okay. Oh. Up. Good boy. Run out of treats. Spin. Good boy. It spins a lot faster than that when you're not there. <laughs> well, he's good at, you know. It's an audience. Code is watching through the door. <laughs> and Sit. Rosie's trying to watch. <laughs> Sit. Drop. Oh. Coda. Coda, come in. Coda, come out here, please. Yeah. Rosie, you're not going in. Yeah. Yeah, come to watch him do his roll over. No, oh, what a good boy. He hasn't done them for a while. He's been training Sit. things. Sit. 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 Drop. Drop. He's getting a bit distracted. Yeah. Yeah, interruption. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Good boy. <laughs> Very good at the roller. Yeah, this. what a good Sit. papa. Sit. Like, rude. <laughs> That wasn't what you were told to do. Good boy. We'll do one more. Sit. Drop. 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 Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. He's had enough. Don't want to do any more. One more. Drop. He says, yeah, no. Nah. Good boy. Right over. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, You've got to end on a positive one. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. What a good papa. Stand. No, you're hopping. Stand. Good boy. Come on, hop. Spin. Yay, Chewy. One more. Spin. Good boy. What a clever pup pup. What a clever grood. He's a clever boy. Thanks, Chew, for showing us your tricks. What a good boy. I have just spent a good few minutes scrubbing the air fryer. Because uh, Krista's doing hash browns in it for a while, which are rather oily. So, I'm giving it a good scrub and I'm re soaking it, and then I'll have another go at it. I even wore gloves, I never wash up with gloves, but it was, they're so greasy, it's so disgusting. So, anyway, hopefully, they'll look a bit better after that. And I've just been and put the um, pasta bakes in the freezer. Oh, I didn't clean that very well. I'm not too worried because I'm going to cook some eggs in it and I'll wash it again after that. So, Kevin came home with my. New jigsaw puzzles. Yes, I did buy a lot. I got very excited when I actually found someone who's got the new Thomas Kincaid or newer Thomas Kincaid puzzles, ones that I don't have anyway. I've learned my lesson. If I see something that I really, really, really want, 
have to buy otherwise they're going to be out of stock and who knows when i will see them again so that's what started this order from this place it's all these i have done one of them i've done that one but i haven't got the other three so that's fine. really finally i have to have a drink right now why well, i'm vlogging i want rosie having a drink now okay now it's rosie's turn Bailey, you look nice after your brush. Really, that bowl is clean. Open your bowl. Okay, so I've got this Ravensburger one. Just, I really like these sort of shelf ones at the moment. As I said, I've got another one. Similar, not a lot around. Another one I saw at a different shop the other day. It's already sold out. Missed out on that one. I'm trying a few different brands. So I've got, um, these are Amy Stewart ones from Buffalo. Just try some Buffalo ones again. I like these sort of prints, as you guys would know. And Tilbury is another um, puzzle manufacturer that sort of recommends it as being good quality. So I thought I'd try that one. Okay, it's the same sort of shelf style. And then this one I obviously really like because we just went to Byron Bay not long ago. And other brands in Australian, the local it's an Australian brand. So I thought, well, I'll give those ones a go as well. And if I can find another brand that I like, then that opens up more puzzle opportunities for me but this will keep me going for many months I'm sure although if I've got to have this thing taken off I just have a thing taken off my hip I might be glad of something that I can just sit and do because it might be a bit hard doing more active things for a bit after that anyway I'm very excited to have these I deliberately didn't start a new puzzle today because I knew this would be arriving today <laughs> yeah so I'm very very excited I don't know which one I'm going to start first you need to give me a bubble. Okay, go. So do you know tonight is the pasta bake as you saw? And the first part of the show seemed complicated. I'm vlogging. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> and we're air frying we air fried some green beans, which you haven't done before, just a little spray of oil hey, and <laughs> give them to the yummy and some garlic salt. Kevin's got some issues with the current show. We just started watching what Ginny and Georgia. Kevin's having trouble track, keeping track of the characters already. We're going to start the show. There's naughty dogs in this neighborhood. Dear naughty boys, and you're good boys. <laughs> oh, what is that, Kona? <laughs> what are you doing? But he didn't even copy his leg to pee, so I don't know what that was. <laughs> you guys are funny. Copies are the funniest. They good entertainment. <laughs> Are you too funny? They have puppy friends, aren't they? Little puppies have puppy friends to play with whenever they want. Are you guys besties? You are. You're good boys. Crazy boys. <laughs> They're good players. You're good players. Talkative tonight, is he with you playing? He's a quiet player tonight. He was talking this morning. What? <laughs> Go 
I just dived under your seat. What are you doing under there, little bear? Now he's trying to dig a hole to escape from you, Chewie. Hi, hello there. What's he doing, Chew? I don't know. I'll go see Can Grandpa. You Chewie? You're a good boy. <laughs> okay, you can put the show on now, I think. So, the brunette was Sophie Sanchez. She's a senior.